So, new camera. Yep, that's new. Alright, let's get into the books I read in April. So the first book I read in April was Avatar Smoke and Shadow Part 1. If you don't know already, I am obsessed with the show Avatar The Last Airbender. I own all three seasons and I have watched them all multiple times. On my top shelf up there I have all of the comics because once the show ended they decided to make comics. And if comics aren't your thing and you just want to enjoy the show, I think that's perfectly fine. But if you really love the show and you really enjoy the artwork, I think this is a fantastic continuation of the story. The first set of comics is called The Promise, so start with The Promise and then just move on down from there. You can usually find what series goes next on Wikipedia. So yes, I read this, I loved this, it was wonderful, and it's just an overall good read. I would recommend it if you've read all the other comics and if you really love Avatar. I highly recommend these comics. I think they're doing a good job with them. The next book I read was The Time Traveler's Wife. This was a very good book. This book surprised me on how much I liked it, but to be honest, it also kind of dragged for me. Like, normally it would take me five days to read a book like this, but I'm wondering if it's because my life was so stressful. It took me like a week and a half, like almost 10 days. But it also could be because this is the type of book that doesn't really have like a driven plot. Like it does have a plot, but when you read it, you don't really know where it's going and it's not in a good way. I don't want to sound like I don't like this book. Basically, when I'm reading this, I feel like there was almost no point. Like it's almost like an anthology, like we're just watching this couple live their life and that is amazing, that's wonderful. That's what makes this book what it is and it's beautiful and I gave it five stars. However, when there is no like driven point where there's like no goal at the end of the book, because there really isn't any goal, it's just kind of watching them live. It can kind of drag a bit and it does kind of make me hesitant to open it up because I don't see where they're going. I just kind of have to like experience it. Yes, I do recommend it. It was beautiful. It, I don't know if I cried at the end, maybe just a little bit, um, but you do have to remember that it is kind of like a slice of life, a slice of someone's very crazy life. And if you're into that, go ahead. If, it, if you're not, um, I would still recommend it. It just might take you a while. The next book I read was me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I saw the trailer for this movie when I was watching another movie and I saw the trailer and I saw that it was based off a book and I was like, I have to, I have to get this. I cannot watch that trailer and not read that book. Like, oh my goodness. Part of me wants to tell you to watch the trailer because if you watch the trailer, you'll know if this is the type of book for you. But at the same time, I feel like the trailer might ruin the tone of the book. But let me just give you a very slight synopsis. Basically, there's this girl who lost her job and she lives with her family and she's kind of like a financial support for them. So she goes through a bunch of jobs and ends up getting a job as a caretaker for a paraphyletic. I hate That's a hard word to say for some reason for me. And basically, the paraphyletic is this young man who got into an accident and can't move from like the chest down but I think he has some movements in his hands. It's kind of just their relationship and their story and there's a bunch of other things in it and it's really wonderful and I definitely recommend it. I think I gave this one five stars too. It just, this one made me cry. Oh man. Maybe not as hard because I was kind of expecting some things but I feel like there was one part that really did make me cry. So yes, Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. Is her real name Jojo or is it short for something? Because I wanted to look it up and see if it was short for Josie, which is my name, but it might just be Jojo or like Josephine or something weird. Not that you're weird if your name is Josephine. The next book I read was Avatar Smoke and Shadow Part 2. Yep, I read Part 2 and I really can't tell you much about it because it's Part 2 and like the fourth part of this comic series, but it was really good. It dealt with the Fire Nation. It was amazing. I love these characters. Read Avatar, watch Avatar, Avatar yourself everywhere. And not the James Cameron one. The next book I read was Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. I have only read one Morgan Matson book and that is Since You've Been Gone. I read that last year and I gave this five stars and let me just stop right there. I have a thing with contemporaries where I really honestly don't like them. I'm like a high fantasy person. I like high fantasy, I like fiction, I like historical fiction, I like everything under the sun, but when it comes to fantasy I kind of struggle with the realisticness and the drama and the angst and I just kind of like eh, eh. But th I think this is the first contemporary in several years for me to give a five star and to absolutely loved. That said, the fact that I read her book Second Chance Summer and that I gave it five stars proves that I might have found my new favorite contemporary author. This one is a very sad one. Be prepared to be a little bit more sad, but despite it's not all about the sadness. It actually has a lot of joy and wonder in it. It's about this family that isn't really close at all. They kind of just like live around each other and then they get unexpected news about her dad. So they decide to go to a beach home where they get to spend the summer, like Second Chance Summer, and kind of just get to know each other more. This is a very family related book and very friend related book and it really is kind of a book of second chances 
And it's fun, it's like an experience, kind of like since you've been gone, it was like a summer experience. This is another summer experience, but it's a little different. You get to kind of live in the summer home with them and experience like their friendships and their lives. And it's very interesting. Most of the time I wouldn't find that interesting, but I do love this. I love the embodiment of summer in her books because most people like understand that even if you just stayed in your town all summer, you just know like these experiences that they had, you had something similar to them. So yeah, second chance summer. I think I like since you've been gone a little more, it was a little bit more lighthearted, but I haven't read Amy and Roger or the new one, so I don't know what my favorite Morgan Matson book, but I do love these ones so much. The next book was my fantasy pick-along. For those of you who don't know, I usually pick one big fantasy book a month that's like 500 or 1,000 pages long. Yes, that's a long range, 500 to 1,000 pages, but there's big books out there that I want to read, and I usually try and read like 40 pages a day or 50 pages a day or 20 pages a day, however long it takes. And I think one for this one was The Dragon Reborn by Robert Jordan. This is the first book in The Wheel of Time, and The Wheel of Time is like a really kind of oldish fantasy, but not super old. I think it was written in like the 80s and the 90s, so it doesn't really have like a modern feel. However, it is a bit more quick paced than like Tolkien. So yes, I read this. Um, this series is so vast and big and I loved it. I don't think I love this one as much because the main character kind of almost takes an absence. It is a very long series to get through. It's not something you can go through quick. It's something you gotta kind of do over time. I feel like I have to read these once every two or three months. I can't just read it every month. If you're really into Brandon Sanderson, really into fantasy, if you have a lot of patience, you can pick up this book. But if you're wanting something quick, I don't know if I'd recommend this. And the last book I read in April was Avatar Smoke and Shadow Part 3. <laughs> yeah, this book came out at the end of April, so I kind of just staggered each of the comics through. And I feel like I should show you some of the artwork. Like, it is really beautiful. This page is really beautiful. Can you see it? Beautiful. And then there's some action scenes. Just let you get a glance real quick. It's Zuko and Azula, sibling rivalry, like times ten. Um, yeah, I really do love this. This is dealt with the Fire Nation. It's got a segue. We didn't have Sokka and Katara in this one, so we get to do more about them in the next one. But yes, guys, Avatar. So yes, these are all the books I read in April. Comic, book, book, comic, book, book, comic. That's kind of how it went. I didn't read a lot of books this month because I took place in an event called Camp NaNoWriMo. For those of you who don't know, NaNoWriMo takes place in November and it's where you try and write a book in 30 days, 50,000 words. And I did that in November, however, you know, I wrote 50,000 words, but I didn't finish the book. I still had like 10 chapters left. But with Camp NaNoWriMo, you don't have to write 50,000 words, you can set your own goal. So I set my goal for 30,000 and I actually finished like my novel. It's actually not my novel, it's the second book to the first novel that I wrote. So I have like two completed books. One of them is kind of edited, the other one is kind of not. So yes, when you're writing and bleeding at your desk, reading kind of had to take a back seat, which is why I picked up these comics and I'm caught up with the Avatar franchise. Yes, that is all I've got to say. Um, I was expecting to be moved into a new place by the end of this month, but that didn't happen because my life is a complete mess. But hopefully by the end of May, I will be moved elsewhere and I can make more better content videos when I have more silence and more space and just time, you know? Just thank you for those who are watching my videos and for those who comment and like it. I love discussing with you guys. Let me know if you've read any of these books, if you love Avatar, if you loved any of these contemporaries, if you love Robert Jordan, if you just love books, just comment below and talk to me. My name is Josie and I will see you later.